and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Pula at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to go over what you should be doing to prepare for the big week of content or the big next few weeks content that we will be having. We do have quite a few things coming. And it's not just Series 6, and it's not just the promo, guys. We have quite a few things. So, for starters, my hair's all over the place, guys. Just got a haircut, and they always leave it all droopy like this, and it's kind of annoying. But, anyways, for starters, guys, we will first be having Series 6. Well, not first, but that's the first thing I'm going to cover. We will be having the free agency promo. We will be having golden tickets and potentially path to the draft. A lot to prepare for. So, this is what I plan to prepare for. I'll be going over everything I plan to be doing, kind of the coin stack I want, what am I focusing on mainly, and kind of just all in all what I plan to be doing. Now, first off, if you're new to the channel, guys, make sure to go on down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys, come join the family. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Always show support. It means a lot when you guys do, especially at this time of the year. Now, guys, get into this video. So, first things first, a so free agency coming. How am I preparing? So, Realistically, for most people, the best thing you do is look up who's actually going to be entering free agency. And if you guys don't care for any of those players, congratulations. You don't got to worry about it. We know we got guys like Brady. We know we got we got a few guys. I know, I know Brady's probably the biggest one in terms of overall. He'll probably end up being like the free agency master. But do we care about a Brady? Probably not. We're getting a golden take of Lamar. We're getting a Lamar. We already have a Lamar. Get him a Holmes. I don't think we're going to care too much about Brady. So for a lot of you guys, you might not even care about the Brady aspect of it. A new Brady would get, you know, a pocket, you know, protected hot rod master all, all that stuff that he's gonna have but in my opinion not for me now other guys might have a byron jones we could have a few different guys i don't think any of these fragrance are really going to be applying to my specific team and what i want out of what i want out of free agency so for me i'm not gonna be focusing on preparing for that too much guys will things come down probably not like i said none of them are gonna be bangers now if they make the promo cool with a master and some good pieces it could potentially turn out pretty well but i really don't think that brady's that big of a name even early in the year guys like brady always never get the value that they deserve because of the position they play and how they play it as you guys know guys like brady like he's base elite 88 early in the year was always the cheapest base elite and now he's 25k uh, i mean a brand new brady let's see this this last brady card nfl 100 the next Brady will probably have 99 throw short, 99 throw mid. Can have like 95 throw deep, 95 throw power, pr maybe less actually throw power on that front. 64 speed maybe, 95 throw under pressure. Going to get a ton of ability. He's going to be super fun for Patriots guys. But in my opinion, don't think he's going to be that big of a banger. So in terms of free agency, I'll make a video of it, obviously, of course. But in my, in my opinion, free agency is not going to be for me. For you guys, you guys feel free to check out who's going to be the impending free agents who you might want your team for me it's not anyone personally that i'm really looking for so next is series six how am i preparing for series six if you guys haven't seen that video yet go check that out. i will recap it a little bit to prepare for series six is simple make sure you're max mud level do not go into series six as a lower mud level because i predict we're gonna get a 98 and a 99 power pass considering it is the last series update so guys it's the last series update so it's gonna be pretty huge gonna be a pretty big series update so you guys definitely want to take advantage of that and there's gonna be a lot coming so i recommend you prep for it other series updates weren't as big so like you can kind of get away with being behind but trust me you're not gonna to want to get to this point we're gonna have a ton of new players we're gonna be able to go lamar jackson 98 overall mvp it's gonna be power pass power up passable or power passable yeah, that's the word so you definitely want that power pass so that's why i'm max level we're gonna get there to the next one as soon as possible so if you level like 50 or 60 definitely start grinding out best way to do it's the same solo as i've been doing all year i don't remember them off the top of my head so you guys can always go check out that video of i think it's oh it's mud heroes go down to i believe it is booth breakers and play the first one technicolor commentary play it over and over and over and over and over and over again until your max my level it took it took me from 80 to 90 probably like four hours it really does not take that long and that's what means goofing off a little bit and my power going out in between it so it definitely could be easy now what you want to do beyond just leveling up is make sure you're getting your journeys done make sure to max out all your stars and journeys to get this journey completion token you might not think it's a big deal but it takes four journey completion tokens throughout the year to get the journey master so as you guys know with the new go uh new series we're gonna be getting the new journey which is gonna give us the final token for journey which will be four total tokens which says we will be getting a journey master journey master could be like a 97 journey journey master could be like a 98 michael thomas a 97 byron jones could be any player that they want to give us, but pretty much you're going to get a high overall player for free and nothing's going to suck more than series drops. You want Lamar for your power pass. You want the journey master and you want the gauntlet master, which is rather what I'm getting to in a second. And now you got to play all the journeys all over to get all the max stars. You have to level up at the same time after that. And then you got to go play gauntlet. It's going to take you days and you're probably going to feel overwhelmed and take forever. Start doing it now. 
and when it comes out you can just knock it out real quick and go start playing the game and enjoying because nothing's better than enjoying the players when they first come out because that's when they're at their best and the same thing with gauntlet guys gauntlet does the same thing it does give you guys rewards such as completion tokens so you're gonna want to go ahead and go get your gauntlet token so there's gauntlet 2 gauntlet 1 i predict we'll be getting gauntlet 3 when the new series drops on march 20th so make sure you go ahead and get those tokens as well you get all both those tokens and then you get the final ones that will be coming out you'll get back to back gauntlet masters and if you guys don't remember the gauntlet master they did say will be power upable so guys they like the lamar i think it's pretty much just upgrades of the old gauntlets so guys like um leonard fournette juju smith and all those guys will be getting like max master cards you can choose from so I, I and we're gonna get new players as well also so it could be legends just like last year but if we go over to gauntlet as you guys can see the first one was marshall yonda terrell suggs rose cook emmanuel from here i'd probably just be happy with a nice like 96 97 yonda to lock my team for the rest of the year or even a rhodes and then from here these are the rookies so i probably end up doing like a derwin um a devin white or a juju and then we'll probably get this was rookie this was like regular players i predict the next one probably be, uh legends so you can pick any of those and we're gonna get a master option that can be powered up so really up to you on that front how you guys go about that but that pretty much wraps up how to prepare for the series six update which will be the final update of the year don't forget that and then following that guys we do have the golden tickets coming so you want to get your coins up now these golden tickets go for a lot of coins they don't need to be powered up which is a big save think about it if a, if a lamar golden ticket goes for a million point a 1.5 million coins let me break out the calculator here you have to remember that the other lamar would be a lot more to make so let's say the other lamar costs let's say both lamars cost 1.5 million to power up that lamar all the way you're going to need his blitz card his fan his team of the week card and his power up so his blitz goes for like 300k his team of the week goes for like 150k and his power up goes for like 30k so that's a 480k you're going to need just to power it up all the way plus training you're gonna need blitz. so let's say let's go like 550k with everything said and done about half a million a little over half a million coins just to power up the all the way this new golden ticket will get four abilities which makes him better off the rip he'll have better stats he'll be way glitchier better abilities you'll get and you don't have to power him up he's, he's already technically powered up and he put sprinter on him so this if this new lamar goes for about 1.5 million coins let's say or even 1.7 subtract off the rip like 600k off of him and be like okay in reality he goes for 1.2 mil because i didn't have to power him up the other lamar will cost it so if the other lamar is only like a 500 difference remember you're better off with the golden ticket one because the power up is going to cost essentially the same thing at the end of the day now for me i definitely want some of these golden tickets so from the confirmed ones right now which you guys can go see that video that i posted regarding that i so far want julio and probably lamar those are the two that i'll probably pick up now if there happens to be an rg3 which i feel like there might be one in the works a lot of people want him if there's a if there's an rg3 i will compare him to lamar if lamar is better i'm gonna have to probably go with lamar but if, if rg3 is comparable i'll probably go with rg3 because i'm a big fan of him got his jersey up in the closet was a big fan ever since he was a rookie too bad he went out i was always hoping for him to come back and it never just it never panned out for him again but if he can get with a card in madden i'll definitely want to play with him so as far as coin stacks i think a new Lam uh, the new lamar is gonna go for at least 2.4 million it depends how rare he is if he gets pulled more than the mvp did probably like 2.5 million if he gets pulled less 3.5 million easy because this card that he currently has goes for like 2.8 now remember the new lamar is going to drop in price a lot so if you don't want to pay up for the new one get the old one the old one's gonna go down in price because we're gonna get a power pass from the series we're gonna get his as a, a redux within there so everyone power passing for 98 people are mostly gonna just do it on lamar so or the night train lane so lamar's gonna be heavily down in price then we got his redux cards getting pulled out of packs it's just gonna drop him then on top of that we got a new lamar coming so should drop him that can't be powered up with him so people are gonna care less about that one and then as far as gold tickets like if you want to get at least one you're gonna need a, i'm thinking you're gonna need at least a million coins so i'm thinking okay 700k for some of the worst ones that people don't want like maybe a, a gentry's good but he's gonna be less popular so maybe like 700 600k but i think like the popular ones like a calvin a julio lamar easily 1.5 mil to 3 million so i'm gonna have to really get some coins up and if you guys want golden tickets you're gonna need a lot you can buy coins from my sponsor using my code down below you already know the deal you just go pull at checkout you can go buy them there should be super cheap at this point in the year especially if you use my code but you're gonna have to buy coins there's really no other way they're gonna be too expensive for the average person to afford them i'm just lucky that i have a lot of stuff from playing i play every single day so i have a lot of stuff in my binder gonna sell some stuff off but realistically what i'm doing so to wrap it all up i'm gonna get probably one or two golden tickets is what i plan to buy just some gameplays with them maybe zerk can buy some i'll buy some we'll share them around for gameplays and then for agency, i'm probably not going to touch too much i'll make videos i'll have some fun with it but i don't think i'll pick up any players path to the draft like i said can't discuss much till we know what's coming out probably going to pick up some players from there like a chase young card when we get that well path to the draft won't have those cards they'll have like late round master early round master i don't know who they'll be because last year was brady it's going to change this year of course 
But guys, that pretty much wraps up everything on how to prepare, what's coming. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, turn on that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you need any help with anything. Or hit me up on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Check out all the other videos. Peace.